Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Here, we found a, a Bronze Org, one of my favorite Pokemon to go up against, and of course, you know, it's Average Joe, which means something exciting happens during this battle. Because, of course, it does. I wouldn't just leave a battle in there for no reason. Let's use Dazzling Gleam. I think that's going to be super effective. It's not very effective at all. But you know what will be is if we use Kong and use any sort of fire type move. Because I believe this guy has a steel typing. I thought he was a ghost as well, but I could be wrong. Maybe he's steel and psychic or something along those lines. But I think it would be helpful to bring Kong out here and just use him because maybe he'll fare a little bit better. And luckily he misses with Hypnosis there. That would have been really annoying to confuse Kong as soon as we bring him out. Kong used Flamethrower. Flamethrower is super effective, as I thought. He's going to use Heavy Slam, which probably won't do a ton. Yeah, we're good there. And then let's use Flamethrower again and just end this fight here. There you go, Bronzorg. I thought about catching him there, but... I don't know, he's cool, but he's not like that cool to me. And there, Agnew levels up, which is the hint as to what's about to happen here. Agnew is evolving. Very exciting stuff here. I have not seen his second evolution. Now that I see his third evolution there, I think I know what he turns into when he's fully evolved. Um, I don't even know if he's really from this generation now that I see that. Like, he might be from a previous generation, because I remember seeing that Pokemon before. Let's search up his evolution. Yeah, he's from a previous. I wonder if that Pokemon's any good. Probably. Let's search it up. Is his evolution any good? Let's search up if he's good. It's literally a budget of Rayquaza, is what I get. It's a solid physical sweeper and wall breaker. Probably one of the best Pokemon brought to us by Generation 5. Um... So yeah, he, he good Pokemon, but here... We get to go up against our rival once more. I think I missed that as I was doing some of my searches here on my end. So now we can actually see us going up against our rival, which is nice. Nice to get a good old rival fight in here. I keep saying, I, I just, I miss like a lot of the fighting. And I get it, there's a lot of trainers out there. But it, it's not the same as like having rivals and fighting people, preparing for the gym and stuff like that. Like it's just, I feel like large elements of this game are missing. Luckily, I haven't had a lot of the the reported bugs and stuff on my end, but I mean, I still do feel like I'm missing out on stuff when I go into a gym and I just have to complete some little task and then I'm ready to go. You know, it just, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like the same Pokemon I grew up with, but at least we get a rival battle here, which is nice. Let's use Draining Kiss, get some HP back. And now this little guy should be done. We don't really have a strong fighting type Pokemon. Otherwise, we would have used them. But Let's switch it to Dino God here. He's going to be super effective against her electric type. Now, as long as he has that move Arm Thrust which has the ability to hit multiple times. I think as long as it doesn't hit four times and we use Earthquake, we should be able to just get him out of here. So there's one. Two. Ooh, that was bad. Three. Please end there, dear God. And she gets a fourth one. Oh, my God. So that makes us a little bit more miserable. Dino God is swept from the battle. I might honestly... I think I'm going to put in Agnew here. We haven't seen Agnew fight, I think, the whole game. I don't think we've used him at all. So let's get him out there. And let's try Dragon Pulse. Let's see how much damage that does. Hopefully close to half. I don't know, though. Dragon-type isn't strong against Electric. Yeah, it's not good at all. 
Um, dragon Dance would help us set up, but he's our only dragon type. It's not like we have a team of dragons here, so it's not going to be all that great. And he can only take one more hit of spark. So hopefully we have a max revive in here. I'd like for um, our good old buddy there, Dino God, to be able to take on this fight. Dino God has another evolution here, and once he turns into Tyranitar, he becomes an absolute unit. I think I said in a previous episode he's based off of King Kong, but that's because I was thinking of Kong himself. Um, he's actually based off of Godzilla, his full evolution, so that, that'll be a really cool Pokemon. He looks really rad. He's super strong. He was a pseudo-legendary in Generation 2, I believe. Maybe Generation 3. No, he's the pseudo-legendary in Generation 2. Because it was the first and last time that a Dragon-type wasn't the pseudo-legendary Pokemon. So, really unique Pokemon. Really great stats. And a Ground-type, which I typically don't have on the team. I think it becomes, like, Ground and Dark in his final evolution. But right now he's Ground and Rock. So, it's, um... It's really cool to have. I have not had a really strong ground type Pokemon in a long time. It's nice to have one on the team. Now Sligo is coming out. Let's switch. Let's go back into Conehead. I think this guy is either Poison or... I think he's weak to either Psychic or Fairy. I forget which one, but he's weak to one of them. So regardless of what Conehead uses, as long as its attack isn't incredibly powerful, we should be able to knock it out here. So let's send out Conehead. Bring out Sligo. Okay, let's start with Psybeam. Try that as a starting point. Sorry, I got a bunch of scabs here. I'm trying to pluck them off myself slowly without bleeding all over the place. But there we go, that psychic type move is super effective, so. Or that fairy type move, so. We should use fairy type moves moving forward, and we should be good to go. And, of course, we get confused. Why wouldn't we get confused? It seems like that always happens, right at the opportune time for Average Joe. But hopefully we get one off here. Yeah, we get Draining Kiss, so we get some EXP back, and we defeat Sligo. So only two deaths so far this battle. Not too bad, and one of them we revived, so we're still pretty in the clear for things coming up here. Oh, and a level up. Oh, it wants to learn Psychic. That's excellent. Yes, of course. Let's get rid of Confusion. Yeah, Confusion's the right choice. And we want to keep two Fairy-type moves on her. Gardevoir could be pretty strong. So, now it's going to send out the evolution of SpaghettiO. So, let's get Kong out there to handle this. Kong should be able to do a very adequate job handling of this little lady here. So yeah, we have a rival battle, then we'll be moving into our sixth gym badge. This is exciting. We're moving through the end of this game, like, pretty quickly. I feel like my Pokemon are, like, at the right level now. Maybe they're slightly underleveled, but it's not, like... It's not even, like, noticeable. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, so I did mine as well. So, don't get too high and mighty on yourself, lady. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... Clearly going to be okay. There we go. Let's traumatize Kong. You're adopted. Okay, he's traumatized now. <laughs> That's great. It's fantastic. Get ready, this move is going to hit with the force of all my training. Alright, I hope it's not a grass move. It's a grass move. Okay, so it's not going to do anything to Kong. I mean, a little bit of damage, but not much. It's not very effective. And that was a critical hit, so we're fine. Uh, Flamethrower might one hit here. I'm not sure. If not, it's going to be close. Yeah, it's a one hit. Good job, Kong. You did it. You defeated the force of all of her training. What a guy you are, Kong. Kong gets a level up. Look at him. I love that. Man, he's a, he's a really good Pokemon. I think we still should have went with the water type. I kind of wish we had a really... I don't know. Gyarados is good, but 
Do I want to end the game with Gyarados? I feel like there's like not a lot of great water types in this game. That's just my opinion. And we definitely need one. If we ever go up against fighting our fire types, it's excellent to have a water type. Although we do have a ground type. I don't know. Maybe we don't need a water type. I don't know. Yeah, while I'm wondering about that, I am going to search up, like, who the strongest water types are in Pokemon Scarlet. So let's see who that is. Okay. I'm searching them up. Slowbro's on there. He's pretty cool. We have to go take on our gym trial now. So let's go do that. Let's go take on the gym challenge. A Vaporeon's up there, of course. There's an Aqua Breed of Tauros. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think... The rest of them seem like really gimmicky, so. That's fine. Let's take on our gym test. So we have to do double battles here, which is actually exciting. It's what I've been asking for even earlier this episode. I've been asking for this since like the start of this Let's Play. Please give me more gym battles, please, please. I love experience right before the gym. It greatly helps. Greatly helps. Sorry, I've been a little distracted here like the first half of the episode. My brain just feels like it's wandering today. It's doing its own thing. I'm recording all of these right around New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, so there's some there's some craziness in Average Joe's brain. Today is New Year's Eve. The day that I'm recording this one, so getting ready to have some good fun there. Okay, Conehead and Sheep. This should be, like, not the dream team, but a good enough team. So let's use Psychic on that guy. Sheep. Discharge. Uh, discharge hits the whole field. We don't want that. That's not going to be good. We want to use Thunder Punch on that guy. Psychic do more than half. Okay, it kills Graveyard. Excellent. Yeah, you know, speaking of the evolutions, we have not run into any... Oh, and Sheep just one-hit that guy. Sheep money. Yeah, we haven't run into Eevee, like, at all this game. Fish wants to learn Hydro Pump. Of course. That Aqua Tail already has a hit in accuracy. So I think that's the way to go. And Hydro Pump will hit for 110 damage if it hits. Which is pretty powerful. It's pretty busted. So I think maybe we'll do that. I want to keep Rain Dance on there because Rain Dance has helped us out before, but I think that's the right way to go. So we defeated the first trainer. I think there's three trainers that we have to defeat back to back to back, and then we have to go into the the battle with the actual gym leader here. And between each one, we get a new set of lights and stuff going on on the battlefield, which is nice. Um, it's not really necessary, I guess, but it, it's pretty cool that it happens that way. Yeah, the more the stage will light up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that, man. You do you. This guy looks like the guy that you would... I, I don't even know. I don't... I actually don't want to profile him. <laughs> that's what I don't want to do. So here we go. Now we have to go against this gym leader. Gym trainer. Hunter and mischievous. Mischievous. So I know Psychic is going to annihilate Hunter. So let's do that. And then Thunder Punch should do a fair amount of damage against Mischievous. It probably won't one hit, but it'll do a good chunk. Now, yeah, Haunter's going to go down to that. That's, that's very clear there. Some good EXP for everybody. And I got hit with a move there, but that's okay. And Thunder Punch, let's see how much that does. A little over half, so we should be fine here. 
This should be yet again another straightforward one, but it's more fun doing this than it is playing hide and seek or anything like that, even though I have to sit here through the 9 million stat boosts that occur. Something that Arceus got right that they just can't seem to get right ever since then. Let's go for a Thunder Punch. I don't know if Psychic will actually have any effect. Okay, it does. And it is devastating. Okay, there we go. No Thunder Punch wasted. It's me XP for everybody. See, it's nice to get the EXP prior to the battle, because then, like, not that we really need it, but it also gives me a good idea of, like, where these trainers are, and I know that, like, the gym leader is going to be a little bit better than them, but probably not much. So it's nice to get, like, a good feel for what we're doing here. Turn the stage lighting up to 11. Next is your last opponent, it's none other than... Me, MC Sledge. Okay. Being an MC isn't my only forte, I can battle too. Alright. Let's see what you got, MC Sledge. Let's see what you're doing. Okay, Drift Loom and Stable Eye. Actually a pretty good combo there. It's not it's better than like anything we've done, and in retrospect. What I should have did here. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have used. Yeah, I should have just did it the other way around and used. Uh... Whatever, Psychic's gonna do good damage, and I'm sure Thunder Punch will as well. Ooh, self destruct! Look at that! That was a really strategic gameplay there. Because it has no effect on Sableye. Thunder Punch will have a good. Yeah. So I'm not really worried here. Shadow Claw is going to devastate us. Yep. But I'm still not really worried. I mean, we have five other people, four other people to bring out onto the field yet. And honestly, I don't even think we need them. Like, sheep money is going to be just fine. Like, there's no reason to fear. Sheep money is here. That's <laughs> put that one down in the books for you, folks. Oh, consider me your newest fan. Okay, Dino God's attack rises. Dino God's special attack rises. Sheep's attack rises. Sheep money special attack rise. Okay. So Dino God, I don't know. Use Stone Edge, I guess. It says it's super effective, but let's just go with Crunch. We're not going to need anything more than this good old Thunder Punch here. We should be fine. Yep, and that's the match. So not a hard one. Um... But still, a, a lot better than like playing hide and go seek and things like that. Definitely like this one a lot more. It's a shame that Gardevoir didn't get some of that EXP at the end, because being as it's a ghost type gym leader, obviously Gardevoir is going to take center stage. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, awesome. That was a great battle. How lucky. That was a rare sight. Thank you, Average Joe. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round. There we go, we passed. And now the gym leader comes out to give a sick rap. Which I'm sure you could tell by the way I said that, um, my opinions on that. Like, Jesus. She's a rapping MC. Yeah, I don't know. This is very uninteresting to me. It's right up there with the influencer. I don't like some of these elements i did i don't know i don't know i'm not a showy person myself so when people are showy like this it's just very i don't get it personally <laughs> that's just me it's not not a major knock on the game or anything like that it's just like it's not my cup of tea i just don't really comprehend it to be brutally honest so regardless of what it's going for here it's i'm probably not the target audience to be fair, target audience is probably about 15 years old. So, even though I love the game, and I love playing all the games, um, yeah, I'm probably not who they were, like, shooting for to be like, man, this should really appeal to average Joe. So, you know, what if this is popular with the youth? Go get them. Get them, Tiger. We got the dog here today, of course. We've had the dog on the last couple episodes, man. The dog is really sitting here watching. 
She's interested in the game of Pokemon. <laughs> she wants to know what is up. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's been cool having the dog watch the episodes. That's one more subscriber if she had her own channel, folks. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's get it. Okay, I'm here for the gym battle. So I did do a little bit of a skip there. You actually have to go back and go to the gym thing and say I want to battle her. But you won't last one round. You feel me? No. Let's get to it. Your Pokemon trainers will battle me. Yeah, I, I do not, in fact, feel you, ma'am. Man. The only time I could really get into rap music, to be brutally honest with everybody, is like, uh, like at the gym. Or like if I'm running and I want to try super hard, which is a rarity, but it does happen. Like in those cases, um, I could definitely get into rap music, but outside of that... I'm not a big, like... You know, I'm not like a... I'm not a big rap dude. It's not my forte. Let's use Psychic on this guy. Let's use Thunder Punch on the dead-looking Pikachu guy. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's going to be devastating. Yes, it was. Okay. Slash. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Too psychic. Thunder Punch. Okay, so that kills the veil. It always has a disguise or a veil or whatever you want to call it. So now we could actually do like legit damage to it. Like, Ryan, 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 yay! There's just, like, there's too much... I always call it floof when I talk to the dog, but there's too much fluff in all of this. Like, it's... It's exhausting. Uh, just, there's no other way to describe it than that. Sucker punch. Ooh, boy. Okay. Can we hit with the psychic? We can. Okay. That hurt him a good chunk. But we should be able to knock out Sableye pretty quick here. Or Bennett. There you go. Bennett's actually like a pretty good Pokemon. I've, I've struggled with them in the past. Specifically, I think in like the Ruby Sapphire days, so. Houndstone is coming out. Look at this guy. He is legitimately got a stone on the bone, you know? <laughs> he's just living his life. Over. I, he's not really living his life. He's dead. But he is, in fact, a doggo. Which, if you know about me, oh boy, the doggo. I should go for a draining kiss here. Just to get some health back for Conehead. Thunder Punch against this guy. Okay. Don't kill me. Just don't kill me. Okay, I survived. Draining kiss. There we go. Get some HP back, Conehead. I'd like to see Conehead make it to the end of this match. I don't know if it will, though. Because this doggo is pretty, uh... He's pretty OP. And he's got a lot of gimmicks that he could throw into battle, so that could be really annoying. We got some level ups there, very nice. Oh, it vanished. Which means that there is some garbage coming out here. Oh boy. Let's see what we could do here. Going ahead, speed rises. Sheep money speed rises. Let's try to go for a Drain Kiss again, I think. Psychic. Oh, let's just use Psychic against him. Yeah, it's going to be good. Thunder Punch. Maybe we could catch the Doggo before he comes up. I don't know. I don't know how this move works. It's my first time seeing it. Look at all these Doggos coming out of the woodwork. They're like, yeah. Doggo Town. And there's a little Doggo. Look at him. He's dancing. He's like, ruff, 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 ruff. He's having a fun time. He's having a fun time, puppy. I like the puppies. And this Let's Play has revealed a lot about my love for dogs. I'm just now realizing that, how much I've talked about it in this Let's Play. I'm a doggo guy. Like this guy, rock on, yeah! 
don't know. He looked like the kind of guy that would just say rock on. That's why I said that. Thunder Punch, but of course, he's not there, so he avoids the attack. Houndstone is going to come out. I really wish I killed him before she even got to say that, but Hex is going to be devastating. Hopefully it doesn't hit Gardevoir. It does. That's it for Gardevoir. Goodbye, Gardevoir. I think we should bring out Kong, traumatize him, and uh, go from there. So I think Kong's going to be our best bet as a backup here. You're really killing it, Ryan. Not really. Uh, she does not have a lot of team members left, and the ones that she does are in pretty rough shape. So I, I don't know if I'd say she's killing it. She's surviving. But, uh, I, I mean, I've been in her situation before. If you watched me play the Elite Four when I played Pokemon Ruby, similar. I was doing really crappy in that, so... Okay, Kong, let's use... First of all, let's traumatize you, buddy. Maybe not. Yeah, I think we should traumatize him. Use Shadow Ball. Use it against Houndstone there. Let's use Thunder Punch against Toxicity. Shwoo! The ball of magic. Fun, fun, fun. You're adopted. Okay, now he's traumatized. I like that. I'm going to start saying that more often. <laughs> You're adopted. Jesus. That's fun. Hyper voice. Okay, there goes sheep money. That's not good. Sheep money! No! Um, who should we send out? Oh, why does he do that? It's so annoying. Look at that puppy belly! Sorry, the dog rolled over. I gotta have fun. You gotta have fun, folks. That's the only way to do it. Tell them, puppy. So you gotta have fun. Pet some dog bellies. Awesome. Perfect timing to traumatize your Pokemon. I mean, he had to figure out that he was adopted at some point in time, right? I mean, he doesn't get his dashing good looks for myself, so somebody had to tell him. You know, somebody had to tell this guy. You know, he's, uh, take him out to the, the boat. You know, leave the gun, bring the cannoli, that kind of guy. <laughs> That's what we gotta do. Okay, Agnew's speed, it's rising. Agnew! Two Shadow Ball, let's just get Toxicity out of here because he's just becoming more annoying by the moment. Dragon Pulse. Oh, let's use Bite against Houndstone, why not? Shadow Ball, let's get rid of Toxicity. He's an annoying foe to go up against. And I think next time we should be able to hit him for some free points here. There goes Toxicity. He's a cool looking Pokemon. He's not that great, but he's cool. Oh no, Agnew! You have been defeated, my friend. It's okay. He looked cool for a moment there. Send out Dino God. I love Dino God. Bam, look at him. He totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. Sweet deal, crowd. Thanks. Okay. Now we should be able to double hit Houndstone here. I don't know if he could vanish while other Pokemon are on the field. I don't. He doesn't attempt it, I don't believe, so. Let's use Crunch. Earthquake would be super effective, but it's also going to hurt us. Shadow Ball. Do we even get to use Crunch? Or does this just annihilate him? Yeah, it annihilates him. I kind of thought so. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this episode now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff is free and greatly motivational towards myself to make videos just like this in the future. We are playing Pokemon Scarlet here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we will be playing... Uh, let's play Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island on Monday and Friday here for probably the remainder of the month at this point in time um at least until we beat both games we'll see how soon or late that is but then next we'll be playing pokemon let's go pikachu and super mario 64 both really interesting let's plays that we have coming up
Like I said, if you enjoyed this content or you're looking forward to any of the new content coming out, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, because it does bring a smile to my face, and I definitely do go through and try to comment back on all the comments that I see. I don't think I've missed any. If I did, they likely look like spam comments, like just a bunch of symbols and stuff. You know, those obviously don't get a reply, but everything else, free game, questions, comments, concerns, love for doggos, leave that all in the comments below. Hope you are all having a snazzy week. And we will talk to you all on the next one. Peace out, guys. Take it easy. Here's some exposition about how five-year-olds in the Elite Four.